Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. So I have several different tutorials on how to get started selling digital products on Etsy. In one of my last tutorials, I taught you step-by-step -step how to create your own digital product using Canva completely for free. Now in today's video, I want to teach you how to add digital listings or digital products on Etsy because the process is different from selling physical products. So after my last video, I got inspired and started to create more different digital printables to sell on my shop. And you can see that just today I have made $13.60. I've had four different orders. You can see yesterday I had two orders. Um, let's look in the last seven days. I've had 10 orders. And these sales are all from the products that I just created last week. And if you haven't already created your Etsy shop, click on the links in the description below to get my playlist on how to start your own Etsy shop. And you can also click on the link in the description below to get 40 free listings so you don't have to pay 20 cents per listing if you haven't yet already opened up your own Etsy shop. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is click on Shop Manager once you sign into Etsy. Then you're going to click here on Listings and you're going to click here, Add a Listing. If you have any free listings, they will show up here. So if you've signed up to Etsy using my referral link, you should get 40 free listings if you haven't already opened up an Etsy shop. So just click on add a listing. And the first thing you have to do is add your photos. So you can use up to 10 photos to show your items most important qualities. So we're going to add the photos that I've created for the last printable that I showed you how to make. And I created all of these listing photos using Canva completely for free. You can sign up to Canva using my referral link as well. And these are the images that we're going to upload. This is the main image. Here's the second and third image. And you can see that it shows the printable that people will be getting when they purchase this listing. It shows the product features. I have videos on how to create your own Etsy listing photos. And if you want more tutorials, I can create those for you as well. Okay, so I have just added three different listing photos. I've decided to make this the primary. If you want to make a different one, the primary image, you can just click and drag it over to the front. I want this one here to be my primary image, and then you can adjust the thumbnail. So if you click adjust thumbnail, you can zoom in on it um, however you want it to appear in the search and the shop home. So I'm just gonna keep it as it was and click save. Next, what you want to do is click on the edit symbol and you're going to add alternative text to describe images or media for people with visual impairments. This also can help your SEO. So when people are searching for items, this is really helpful to put in. So just describe the listing that you're selling and then just click save and do that for all of your images. This is just going to help you with your SEO. So you can also add a video. It says, bring your product to life with a five to 15 second video. This can help drive more sales. I'm gonna show you how to do this in a different video. It's not mandatory. So now we have listing details. So you're gonna put in a title. Now, when you are creating listings, it's good to get an idea of what other people are doing. So what I recommend is go to Etsy. So just type in on Etsy, the type of printable that you are selling or digital product, and then go and look at one that is a bestseller. So you can see here, bestseller, bestseller, and you can click on that and get an idea of the tagline. So this person ate clean bachelorette party games, bachelorette game bundle, instant download. So these are the kinds of things that you want and make sure you don't go over the character limit. So I have 20 characters left. Then you've got about this listing, who made it? So you're gonna say, I did, if you made it. What is it? We're going to put a finished product. When did you make it? Let's put recently. And then you have under category. So to help you, if you don't know what category, because this is a two or three word description of your item to get category suggestions that will help more shoppers find it. Again, you can go to the best-selling item as an example. We can scroll to the bottom and we can see that this item is in party games. So what we're gonna do is just type in party games and you can select whatever category this fits in. This fits in party games. So shoppers will find this item in all of these categories. You can add color if you want. So let's say mine is blue and pink. Again, this is optional. The occasion, so 
Then this one, it's a bachelorette party. So we'll type that in. Maybe there's a holiday. You can type in if there's a holiday. Renewal options. This is important. If you put in manual, you'll have to renew expired listings yourself. Now we want to put in automatic because this is a digital product. So a physical product, you might do manual because you may not have more than one of this product, but this is automatic. If someone purchases this, it's a digital product. We can have an unlimited amount. So this listing will renew as it expires for 20 cents USD each time. So we're going to put this as automatic. And very importantly, let's put that it's a digital file. So this is a tangible item that you will ship to buyers. It's a digital file that buyers will download. Now we have description. Again, you can look over at your example file and you can see that this person has given some instructions on how to download it. Okay, so here would be an example of a description. Make sure to really fill this out. This is important for your SEO as well. You want to have a lot of keywords like bachelorette party games, wedding shower games. Um, I've just put what the game is, a little bit about the game instructions, the product features, that it's an instant download, that's a high quality PDF file, the paper size, that it includes two sizes, download instructions. You can just copy this, access your files immediately after purchase from your Etsy account purchases section here, which would be etsy.com slash your purchases. If you have any questions about your download, please don't hesitate to send me a message. Thank you for your order. Production partners. A production partner is anyone who's not a part of your Etsy shop who helps you physically produce your items. Usually I just leave this blank. Here under section, you can create a section for your shop. So you don't have to, but I think this is great. Say you're going to do a bunch of different bachelorette party printables. We can click add a section and you can put bachelorette party games, for example. Then that would be a section. You might have a Christmas section or birthday section. Then here under tags, what words might someone use to search for your listings? Make sure to use all 13 tags to get found. So let's say bachelorette party, hen party games, and just fill this out until you use all 13. Under materials, this is optional. You, you can put any materials you use to create this. And then we have inventory and pricing. So remember to factor in the cost of material, labor, and other business expenses. If you offer free shipping, make sure to include the cost of shipping so it doesn't eat into your profits. Now for us, of course, shipping will be free because this is a digital product. Remember that it costs you 20 cents to list the item. So you might put this for $2, for example, for $1. Let's just put this for $2. And then quantity, for quantities greater than one, this listing will renew automatically until it sells out. You'll be charged a 20 cent USD listing fee each time. So because this is pretty much unlimited, you could put 500, you can put whatever you want. The quantity must be between zero and 999. So I'm just gonna put 999 because really this is unlimited. Um, you're not going to be charged for 999. You're going to be charged for 20 cents each time someone purchases it. And this way the listing won't expire and you won't have to renew it because it's just an automatic digital download. So now digital files, buyers can download these files as soon as they complete their purchase. So you can add up to five files. We're going to click upload file and locate your PDF file, your JPEG file or PNG or whatever file you're selling. So this was the file we created in one of my last videos. It has the bachelorette game. It has the four different versions and it has the game instructions. It's all in the same PDF that we exported using Canva. Okay, so it's uploading right now. And you also have the option to add a note for buyers who purchase digital items. So if we click that, this will offer you the ability to send a message to buyers for digital items. So. I'm just gonna paste this and I'm going to put thank you for your order. And then we have download instructions. So this just lets them know where they can download their file. I'm just gonna put save changes. And that will send this message to all buyers who purchase digital items. So now under returns and exchanges, digital items aren't eligible for returns or exchanges on Etsy because of the nature of these items. While it's not possible to edit this policy, when a buyer reaches out, you're still free to resolve it as you see fit. 
So if someone purchases your digital file, they can't just say, oh, I want a refund because once you download the file, they already have access to it. So there's no way they can return it because they can still use it, unlike a physical product. However, let's say someone accidentally orders two copies of the same digital file, which has happened to me a few times, I can offer them a refund. And that way they will be more likely to give me a positive review on my shop because I have understood that it was an error. And once you're finished this, we're going to click preview. And this is what it's going to look like. And if you're happy with this, you can just click publish and then click publish again. And then it will say your listing is active, view your listing. And you can see that this is your listing right here. We've got our listing photos and then people will, will be able to see that it's a digital download, the digital file type, the description download instructions, and that the delivery is an instant download. And if you want to make any edits to this, you can click here on edit for listing tools, and you can change the photos or adjust the thumbnail, so on and so forth. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will be creating more videos on how to create different types of popular printables to sell on platforms like Etsy and how to design these printables as well. Thank you guys once again for watching. Merry Christmas, and I will see you in my next tutorial.